What's up, Bills Mafia? Welcome back to the Bills Bunker. In 2019, our defense was outstanding, led by Tremaine Edmonds and lockdown corner Tredavious White, along with a solid defensive line that we've made, added some pieces to in 2020 that are really going to help this team. So in 2019, our defense was ranked by Pro Football Focus fourth behind San Francisco, New England, and the Minnesota Vikings. So we're going to assess these teams that are ahead of us and see where we might rank in 2020. So first we have the San Francisco 49ers, who they're solid. Everyone knows it. Nick Bosa, Javon Kinlaw instead of DeForest Buckner up front. That's going to be a nice cheaper addition. Help them spend money other places. I mean, they're just going to get better. And that defense is, I think they're safe at number one. Second, you have the New England Patriots. So they have Stephon Gilmore, and the big conversation is Gilmore versus Tredavious White. I like White in our scheme, play more zone coverage versus the man coverage in New England, but that's another discu discussion for another video. Um, so the Patriots, they lost Landon Roberts, they lost Danny Shelton, Jamie Collins, and Jamie Van Noy. These are these are defensive, like these are Pro Bowl caliber players, and those are going to be a huge hit to that defense. So, I mean, yeah, their secondary is solid, but up front, Bo Allen, I don't think he compares to Danny Shelton, and then it's going to be it's going to be a lot of what Bill Belichick does best. Uh, seeing what his guys can do and making the most out of them, but I don't know if it's going to really, if they're going to stay put at number one or two defense in the league. Um, I see us moving above them. But next, let's go to the Minnesota Vikings, who were third. Um, they lost staples of their defense for years, including Xavier Rhodes and Limbaugh Joseph, Everson Griffin as well. I mean, these pieces have been there for years. They know what's going on in that defensive scheme. They brought in Anthony Zettel. I don't think that's going to make a huge impact on that defense. I see our defense is above them, and here's why. Um, we have Josh Norman and Mario Addison coming back into Sean McDermott's defensive scheme. They thrived back in 2015 when he was the defensive coordinator in Carolina. Josh Norman isn't going to be asked to be the number one corner here. We obviously have Tredavious White, and we also have Jordan Poirier and Micah Hyde back there at safety. We can, if any balls get by him, we're safe. Um, and we have a lot of depth in the corner, cornerback room as well. I mean, we have some UDFA signings, and then we have notable players like Levi Wallace and uh, Teron Johnson still. So should be interesting to see what happens with that. But we also have AJ Epinesa, our second round pick at the defensive end position. He's going to be rotating in with Mario Addison. That's a replacement for Shaq Lawson. I think those two are an upgrade and definitely a cheaper, cheaper price. We look at our defensive line and there's loads of depth. We have Ed Oliver, who's most likely going to be facing a suspension. Don't want to speculate. We'll see what happens with that situation. Just got to hope for the best. But we, you look at our depth on the defensive line. We have Harrison Phillips, who's coming off of an injury last year. Didn't play too much. Excited to see how that works out for him. Um, sure he's motivated and been working hard all, all year. Uh, Vernon Butler and Quentin Jefferson, along with... Mario Addison, Jerry Hughes. I mean, the list goes on. This depth at the defensive on the defensive line is it's a very deep position group for our team, and it's going to be a solid defensive front, backed by our linebackers with Tremaine Edmonds, Matt Milano. We have uh, Voshan Joseph coming back this year from an injury last season. AJ Klein, Tyler Matakovich. I mean, this is. This defense is going to be exciting to watch. Our secondary, you already know. You already know about that secondary. I mean, just, I can't wait. Now, you look at teams that are below us and that they might be coming up. 
Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Steelers have a very good defensive team. Um, Minka Fitzpatrick, TJ Watt, that defense, it's solid. But I see us as the second overall defense in the NFL behind San Francisco. I see Pittsburgh and New England there as well. So I see, I see San Francisco, Buffalo, New England, or Pittsburgh. That's how I see the 2020 defensive rankings in the NFL. So thanks for watching this video. Be sure to check out the Bills Bunker on other social media platforms. We have a Twitter, Instagram, and a Facebook group. So be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching.